In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to process text strings in Natural. We'll see how to parse and concatenate strings and how to change their content to, for example, all uppercase. To show you how strings are concatenated or compressed, I've modified my field definitions to contain both a first and last name of type alpha 30. There's also a full name field of type dynamic to hold the result. I've also assigned values to both the first and last name. I can now compress several constants or variables into one string, so I'll request to compress the constant Mr. first name, last name into full name. Then I'll use print full name to output this to the screen. Let's save and run. And this is the result of the compressed fields, with a space added between each element. There are a number of additional options for compressing. I can, for example, specify a specific delimiter instead of the space, such as a comma, if I need to create a comma-separated file. But what if I now want to do the opposite by separating the comma-separated values and putting them into an array? To do so, I've defined a simple array which contains three occurrences of alpha 30 strings. So I'll separate full name into the elements array. The asterisk in brackets indicates that we're not dealing with a specific index of the array, but the array itself. To display this on the screen, I'll use the display statement this time, as this will list the values of the full array, one line at a time. I'll save and run again. And we can see that the string has now been parsed back into its elements. In the next example, I want to demonstrate how we examine a string to find the number of occurrences of a specific string, like a comma, and the index of the first occurrence. I've created these n and ix variables of type integer 2 to hold these values. So I'll enter examine full name for comma, giving number, then the variable it should go into, and the position and its variable. Let's take a look at what that gives us. I'll save and run. And there's our result of the number of commas and the index position of the first one. The examine statement has a number of other functionalities, such as replacing specific characters or examine translate, which can be used for upper and lowercase transformations. The syntax for uppercasing is examine and the variable, which is full name here, and translate into upper. Save and run and we'll see the result before and after translation. To summarize, the compress statement can compress constants and variables into a target string. The separate statement does the opposite, separating the individual elements of a string into fields, often in the form of an array. Examine lets us search for and replace characters. It also lets us find out how many of a certain character there are, and their index. The examine translate syntax is a simple way of transforming a string to upper or lowercase. And finally, there's the additional substring function, which can be used in combination with the other statements to specify that only part of the string should be processed. Substring can also in some cases be used to specify a location in the target string.